Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. This video is part of the Crafting for the Cause Challenge, hosted by Teresa B. DIY and co-hosted by Mackenzie Lumbermill. Being October, this month's cause is Breast Cancer Awareness and Research. We've all been touched by this disease. Whether we know someone who has faced it or is facing it now, our very generous host, Teresa, will be donating her ad revenue to the cause. My husband and I have participated in local fundraising for many years. If you're in a position to donate, please consider it. Perhaps there's even a local charity near you. Okay, let's get into it. Today's project, Halloween Circus Tents. I'll be making my tents with these paper hat boxes for my All Hollow Circus display. First, I'll remove the lid and measure from the top to the bottom of the box, which in my case is three inches. Next, I'll cut two strips at three and a half inches of this really cool Halloween scrap paper. The extra half inch I'll use to wrap around the bottom of the box. To make the circus tent top, I'll use this cute Halloween polka dot scrapbook paper and I'll glue it to some cardstock to give it some body. I'm using Elmer's rubber cement, but you could use any glue that you would normally use for paper. I just match up the edges and then I'll use my brayer to really adhere them together. Now that my paper is well stuck together, I'll trace a circle onto the cardstock side using a paper plate. The paper plate is about an inch and a half larger than my box top. I'll mark the center of the circle and I'll cut it out. Then I cut a straight line from the edge of the paper to the center so that I'll be able to make a cone shape. See, just like this. But before I make the cone, I'll cover it with Mod Podge. I do this to make the surface more paintable and to strengthen it. While that's drying, I'll work on my box. I'll line my paper strip with the edge of the box, which will give me a half inch overhang at the bottom. I'll Mod Podge my strips onto my box, doing my best to keep the paper lined up with the edge. And I'll squeegee out the bubbles as I go and I do this until I cover the entire box. To get the overhang to lay flat, I'll snip the paper every inch or so from the top of the paper down to the box, like this. I press down the flaps to crease them, and then I'll add Mod Podge to glue them into place. I add a layer of Mod Podge over them once they're in position, and I'll coat around the box too, and then I'll set it aside to dry. I'll follow the same process for my small tents, but I'm reversing the patterns. Stripes will be on top,
polka dots on the bottom. I've cut wee flags for the top of my tents from scraps of my paper and I'll coat them in my Podge too. I just folded the scrap paper over and then cut a triangle up to the fold. So when they're open, they form little diamond shapes. I'll paint all three lids with charcoal. As always, I'll put all of the supplies in the description box for you. I'm also painting a skewer with charcoal. This will be my flag pulse. With floating medium and charcoal, I'll shade my tents. I dip my brush into the float and work it into the bristles. I side load by scooping up some paint onto the corner of my brush and I'll stroke it onto my plate to get that gradient of color. I put my lid back on so I know where to shade. And I reload my brush as needed. I shade just below the lid and completely around the box. Then I flip it and shade around the bottom. I think the shading adds to the vintage vibe and it also adds a little mystery. I do my little boxes too. I paint in the tent opening with charcoal and I'm making a kind of fluted triangle. You know, kind of like how curtains would hang if they were pulled back. And I do the same to the small tents as well. And I'll shade along the sides of the opening. To embellish, I'll glue some corrugated cardboard trim around the lid. I cut the cardboard trim to size for the small boxes and then I'll trim them too. So I've cut my skewers to size and I'm going to float my flags with charcoal too. I'll open up my flag, run glue down the crease, put my skewer into it and then fold it over and hold it for a moment until the glue sets. To make the top of my tent where the cut is, I'll take one flap of the circle and pull it across a few inches onto the inside of the circle, forming the cone. I place it onto my box top to make sure it fits. I have to fiddle with it to get it to sit properly. And then I'll glue it closed. I'm adding a bit of shading to the top of the tent. That's darker than I really wanted it, so I'm wiping a bit off to soften it up a bit. 
just using a paper towel. To add my flag, I'll use the pointy side of the skewer to poke a hole in the point at the top. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I was out of frame, but you get the idea. Then I can push my flag into the opening. I dry brush some cadmium orange onto the corrugated cardboard. Then I'll brush on some white. I printed a sign from my big tent, All Hollow Circus, and I'll glue it just above the door. I'll pop the top on my tent, straighten up my flag a wee bit. I also outlined the tent opening with white lines, but I didn't get it on camera. Sorry about that. I've been wanting to make these for a few years now. I'm so pleased with the way they turned out. They have that Ray Bradbury, something wicked this way comes, dark carnival thing going on. But you know, cuter. I hope you enjoyed watching. I sure had fun making my All Hollows circus tents. All supplies as well as links to the hosts and co-host channels and the playlist are in the description box. Stay creative my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.